Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. Now, this particular video is not going to appeal to a large percentage of my viewers. It is specifically aimed toward uh, my friends, fellows, guys, people, gals who own an Ice Bear Champion 125cc CT70 clone. I'm a member of the Ice Bear owners uh, group on Facebook. And there are questions from time to time on wiring. And I currently have my Ice Bear completely tore apart and I'm kind of rebuilding it as a replica of a, a 1978 CT70. So while I've got it apart and I have the entire wiring harness out, I thought I would go ahead and just do a really quick tutorial. Um, but mostly just throw out there for Anybody who's on the Ice Bear page, if you have any questions about wiring or what to do, now is the time. Uh, get a hold of me, and while I've got this out, and I can try and you know walk through and show you what's going on. But let's just do a really quick overview of this. I've got a battery hooked up to this, just so that you guys know how kind of how it works. I've got the key switch. Now, you turn the key on, you see nothing happens. The headlight and the tail light are powered by the stator, so we don't have any lights on. Um, the battery does operate the brake light. So if I find a brake switch and pull on it, hopefully you can see that, that that light's coming on back there. That is the foot brake switch. This is the switch for the front brake lever. Uh, the other thing that works with the... Uh, battery with just off the battery with the key on are the turn signals. So if I grab, nope, yeah, that's the right one. So if I grab my left lever, uh, left control, and let's say I want to turn right, click it over, my right turn signals are flashing. And if I go to left, now my left ones are flashing. Uh, I think the horn actually works too. Yep, the horn works with the battery and then you may not be able to hear it but then the electric start you'll hear the sil solenoid click as I push the start button and that's what works off of the battery and the way that works the red wire from the battery comes down first the heavier gauge one goes to the solenoid starter solenoid the other wire goes into the harness. It's got a fuse in line. And if you follow that red wire, it comes to right here and it, it Ys. And one part of the red wire goes to the voltage regulator. The other part of the red wire continues up to the key switch. So 12 volt power is going into the key switch. In the off position, it just dies. When you turn the key switch on, it then travels back out of the key switch through the orange wire. So we went from red to orange. Any orange wire that you see in the harness is live or hot when the battery, when the key is on and the battery is connected. Okay, so that's why you see an orange wire on the signals, the brake, that sort of thing. Okay, the headlight and tail light are powered by the stator and that is the yellow wire that is in the plug that this is the plug that plugs into your um, engine on your ice bear 125 i have pulled out the yellow wire and i'm going to show you i've got a uh got a 12 volt battery charger that we're going to use to simulate a running engine so if i put ground and then I hook, if I can get it to clip on there, if I hook the yellow wire to the uh, positive outlet, now I've got lights. There's my tail light. You can see the headlight. Uh, we must be in the low beam, and then I can switch it to high beam, and actually the, the um, high beam indicator comes on. And that is, is, is what gets powered through the, uh, the, the engine running, the, the stator from the engine. 
I'm going to disconnect that before I forget. Okay, and like I said, that is the yellow wire, so it gets power from the engine. The yellow wire comes up. It gets about right in here someplace, and it splits, and it sends a, a, a yellow wire back to the voltage regulator again. And then it sends a yellow wire up to the front of the harness, which then goes into the left handlebar control to power the lights. And then depending on where you have that set, it sends it back out. So orange is 12 volt hot when the battery and the key are on. Yellow is 12 volt hot when the engine is running. Okay, now I won't go through all the other wires here. If you have questions on what those do, hit me up and we'll talk about it. The other thing I, I do want to touch on on this video is, is um, changing your headlight from powered off the stator to powered off the battery. Now we're going to pretend, we're going to pretend that we are now up here at the headlight and you've taken the, you've taken the headlight out of the bucket and you're going to see all of these connectors here. You're going to find the one, you need to find two of them. You need to find the one that goes to the speedometer and it's plugged into the blue connector of the harness. And then you need to find the other one that goes to the left handlebar control. And you'll know it because of the yellows and the pink and a light green and so forth. Now, you can switch this headlight to running off a DC, running off the battery in a couple different ways. You could just find the solid yellow wire, snip it, and just terminate the part that comes up from the harness to this, to this plug. Just, just terminate that. And then the other end that comes off of the plug, you could tie it into this orange wire. You'd have to snip this then tie the two ends in with the solid yellow that's left the pigtail that's coming out of this, and then that would power your headlight. Um, I don't really like snipping wires and, and doing all that. So if I were going to run my headlight off of DC, here's how I would do it. I would unplug the speedometer. Okay, let me back up real quick. So you see there's an orange wire that's 12 volt hot when the battery and the key are on, and it comes up and it goes to the speedometer. Well, what it, what it powers is the neutral indicator light. Okay, power's coming up here, and then ground comes back out the other wire. So that means that neutral indicator light comes on with the key comes on. The engine does not have to be running. That's not that important to me. Um, I'd rather ha be have the neutral indicator work while the engine's running. Uh, I can always just find neutral when it's not and just push it around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the, the plug that goes from the harness to the speedometer. And I'm going to find that orange wire. And I'm going to take a little sharp little pointer. And I'm going to stick it in there to flatten that tab out. I say I'm going to, and I'm going to pull that orange wire out of that harness. Okay. I'm just going to plug it back in for right now so I don't get them confused. Now I'm going to find the other plug that has the yellows and the pink and the light green and so forth in it. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to find the solid yellow, because there is a yellow with a white stripe also. Find the solid yellow, and we're going to pull it out of this harness, out of this plug. OK. 
Okay, just like that. And I'm going to straighten back up the, the pin. And I am going to swap these two wires. I'm going to put the orange one over in this plug. And then you could put the yellow in this plug over here. All right, and then plug this one. Now, we should have a headlight when we turn the key on. Let me back, I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit. Oh, it went the wrong way. Okay, so now when I hit the key, we've got a headlight. Didn't have to cut anything, didn't have to splice anything. So what, what did we change? Now we've got a, a headlight that's running off a of DC. It won't flicker, it won't uh, dim at idle and so forth because it's not powered from the stator anymore. But th the other thing we changed is now our neutral indicator light only works when the bike is running. Yeah, so we didn't lose, we didn't lose our high beam indicator, it still works. All right, and that's just as simple as changing the, the solid yellow from this plug and the solid orange from the other plug, just swapping those out. All right, there you go. Anybody has any questions, um, comments, let me know. And if you've got any other issues that you'd kind of like to talk about, this, like I said, this just this is a wiring harness from a Ice Bear Champion 125. I don't know if any other Ice Bear uses the same colors uh, in their wiring harness or not. How this, uh, you know, would would transfer back and forth between the different models. But uh, if you've got a Champion and this, hopefully this will help you get the headlight run off of DC.